what is up everybody it is your boy slim aka mr different of tblsounds.com and today is going to be a video request i've been getting on ass a lot a lot and i think there's not enough videos about this out there so i guess i'll be one of the first to really go in detail on how to do it but how to basically record your screen record fl studio while using your asio drivers inside of FL Studio. So basically I'm gonna show you how I record my videos and my streams and everything like that. And just show you guys how to do it. Cause I know a lot of you guys wanna do it. You know, a lot of you guys wanna show off your beats that way. You know, maybe you got some tips and tricks or whatever. You wanna get your little tutorial channel going on. So, hey, it is what it is. I don't mind, you know, I don't mind helping. This is a small community of people who do these tutorial videos. We need more people who can, you know, give out the insight cause we all learn from each other and benefit off of each other. So I'm gonna show you how my setup. So basically I have two methods I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the absolutely free version where you don't need to buy nothing and you can just do this absolutely free of charge, just a download and setting it up. And then I'm going to show you a paid version to get better performance and actually do a couple of extra tricks. Like, as you can see right now, I'm using the way I do it now. Like, I used to not do this this way, but the way I do it now, I can actually have a vocal chain um, going through. Like, I have my effects on my vocals. I got me a gate on my vocal. So, it's not really gating that much. It's like a smooth gate, but I can kind of turn the ratio up so it kind of cuts out stuff. No, that background noise and crap. And also I can, if I want to, like I can do, during live stuff, I can do like effects, like auto tune, reverb, all that, do some crazy stuff like this on live stream. So I can, you know, make myself sound like this and all kind of mess, you know. What's up everybody, it's the Slim Tron. Yeah, I'm back with another video tutorial right here. <laughs> yeah, so I you know, I can do all kind of crazy like that. And I can do that live. Now you can't really do that with um the free version because of the Azure restrictions, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. But first off, you're going to need a little program called OBS St Studio. You know, it's absolutely free. Uh, in my opinion, this is the best screen capture software out there. It has so many like functions. You can, like I said, live stream. You can record your, your um, gameplay, your videos, your, you know, whatever. Um, it's absolutely free. Um, all these other things. I see people using stuff like Bandicam and of Camtasia and all that kind of stuff. I just go like, eh. I mean, Camtasia is definitely a nice one. I got Camtasia myself. It's a nice one for you to do like a lot of like went uh, like editing at the end, but I got Vegas Studio. So um, I can do all my editing afterwards and do a lot more professional editing than using Camtasia, you know what I'm saying? But if, but as far as like recording my screen, this hands down to me is the best way to go because it's free and like, Everybody who do gameplay footage and all that, they usually use this or capture card, but capture card costs money, but this is free. So all you gotta do is go to OBS studio. Let's see, let's go to the website. We'll go there real quick, go to, go to OBS, you go to OBS, you know, you go right here, go right there, there's OBS studio, download OBS studio, absolutely free, works for Mint, Windows, Mac, Twitch, gameplay, hitbox, all that good stuff. You can do preview. It's just it's just the best way to go. Um, I'm not going to show you actually how to set up your OBS studio. Um, if you guys want me to make a follow-up video showing you my exact settings on how to set up OBS studio, I definitely will. How I do my catch but I'm going to show you the basic function of how to get it started to, you know, start recording your um, your footage right there. So all you need to do is get this. Now, if you want to do the free version, all you need to do is get this, OBS studio, uh, you will open a scene. You will have a scene. You will scene one, whatever. Boom, or scene two. You will open up a source. And let's say it will be like window capture. We'll just do like display. So it'll just capture my whole display. Add a display. It'll capture the display. As you can see, it's going to look like an inception. So now it's capturing my screen. As you can see, uh, if I can just move out of the way, you know, it's capturing my whole screen. I can switch it to my other monitor because I have dual monitors. I can actually go to my other monitor, which is my other OBS. I'm using OBS to record OBS. So, you know, set up like that. Um, next, you would have to set up your microphone. So you would go to audio. Uh, you go to right here. If you go to settings, go to audio. You got your microphone. You would pick your microphone, which is, mine would be the, uh, it's my Sapphire interface. And then you would pick your default um, desktop audio, which will be whatever. Default, hit apply, hit okay. Now you see my microphone's going in, and if I play stuff, it'll make sure, but I can't do it right now because of the way I got it linked up right now. You won't hear no sound, but if you use your default stuff, you do that. Now, that's how you set up OBS to get ready to start recording. Now, in order to record the, the um, excuse me, in order to record the actual um, 
FL Studio or whatever you're using and how to record the sound coming from it. You have to switch your drivers from, I got on ASIO link, I'll show you that in Linda. You have to switch to this FL Studio driver, ASIO. Um, the problem with that, and actually I used to record like that for a long time. The problem with switching to that is you can't use effects on your, um, you can't use effects for one. Um, and it's gonna have a, it's gonna have some latency to it because it's a, it's a, it's a special driver or whatever designed to bypass or whatever to go straight to recording your screen or whatever. Um, it works. Let's say if you're going to record your audio separate, like I said, I, I record my, I record my, um, through my interface and then I, from my microphone and then FL studio still can play that. If you do it that way, it's going to be perfectly fine. But if you want to add effects to your voice, like I got over here, it's going to be super delayed, super latency. It's going to be crackling and popping, and you can't do that. So you have to, you know, record your voice externally. But if you want to record it inside FS2 like that now, you have to get this paid version. So that's the base of the free version. You just, like I said, set it up like this. Set up your capture, your capture screen. Select your, go to settings, go to audio. Set up your microphone. Set up your default. You know, leave it stereo, 44.1, because that's all good. Um, you go to mixer, you go to microphone, down mix everything to mono so it's in both headsets. If you want to, if you edit after the fact, you can actually select how many tracks you want. So if I want two tracks of audio, I'll have like track one be my microphone, track two be my desktop audio. And when you put it into like an editor like Vegas or whatever, it will basically um, have two separate audio tracks. You can, you know, individually change the volume and you know, do your effects that way. You know, you can put your face on it that way, which is the long way, but it works. And like I said, don't think you got to deal with is a little bit of latency. Cause like I said, when I was live, if you ever noticed my live stream, when I used to do this, like, like my old live streams, it would like, when I play my keys, it'd be all off because of the latency from the impact from um, the input. And it'd just be a pain to do that live beats. But now with the way I'm doing it now, it's absolutely great. Okay. So, so that's the free, easy way to set up your OBS to record your screen. And say so I think everybody should do that to start off because it's free and you gotta spend the money. But if you want like no latency to be able to have effects going through there, like I said, I can have um basically I can have effects in my voice. Like, yes, I can do this. You can't do that with the free version, the free way I showed you. I can add reverb, auto-tune, whatever I want to. Have no latency, so I can actually play stuff. So if I go to and you can actually hear stuff. You can still hear my desktop audio and it's zero latency, so I can actually pull up a We'll just pull up a piano. Just pull up Fruity Keys because it's right there. Where is it at? Fruity. Fruity Keys. Where are you And then. No. And I can have, like I said, I can add send to the mixer channel. Put some effects to it. Put on a reverb. Uh, you know, have effects going on. And as you can see, there's no latency when I'm pressing the keys and like that. So how would you do all that? First, you would need to buy a piece of software called ODS ASIO link. Now there are three versions of it. There is a, or their homepage. They have the ASIO link one or link version. They have the pro version. They have the max version. Now, depending on how many ins and outs you got, depending on what you want. If you want like, a, you got like a lot of ins and outs, you're going to be recording like a band and stuff like that. I highly recommend looking into the pro or the max version in my opinion, because it gives you more ins and outs. But for my purposes, I just got the regular version because I don't have a lot. It gives me eight ins, eight outs, which is perfect for my interface. And also, you know, it's just pretty it's cheaper. Like it's in it's in Australian currency, so I think in American currency in USD, it is um thirty bucks, thirty two dollars in my opinion. I think if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, it's not forty bucks. That's, that's in Australian, but it's actually thirty bucks. So it's pretty good software. Now it looks kind of complicated. And I'll show you how to set it up. Once you download it, you install it, you'll get this right here, and you get this right here. And you're like, what is that, Slim? All you gotta do is hit start. And right then and there, it links everything together. Now, this is will be your main driver for now on. You won't be using your usual if I open the mixer. Let me just do this. As you can see, you will no longer be using your ASIO of your 
um, speakers. So I, yeah, I used to have voice meter, which by the way is free as well, but it sucks. So don't don't even don't even download that crap. <laughs> it's garbage. But yeah, it, it works. But um, see, usually I would have this set to my speakers of my Sapphire. But when you download, you get these four individual ASIO um, setups. And you pretty much set to the first one and recording the same thing. As you see, my microphone's coming in. And if I go right here, if I play sound, you'll see, well, it won't show. Well, yeah, it will. Just put it, do, do, do. Go right here. Well, it's supposed to show sound, but it's got sound playing through it because you guys can hear it. So you would select that as your, your primary drivers in your mixer window. So in your um, playback, you will have speaker one and you're recording your have speaker one as default and that's pretty much it and as you see it's, it routes itself basically it's going like your main speakers into the asio link and back out to your speakers so basically it's just that's all you have to do if you want to listen to you like i said your desktop um your skype your, your music whatever you have this so every time you start your computer you have to open this hit start and boom that's all you do let me see if i can find the one that's actually running running so you can find the one that's actually running. So you see the, okay, that's not running with this one. There we go. That's the actual, that's how it looks right there. See, as you can hear me coming in, it goes in here and it back out through my speakers, through my headphones. So that's all it is. That's all that's doing right there. And that's just like I said, to listen to your everyday listen to. So when you start your computer up, you just do that. You would select your interface, how many ins and outs you got, your sample rate, and that's it. Boom. And you can, that's all, that's all there is to it. Now, how do you get it working in FL Studio? That's this is the tricky part that a lot of videos don't show you. How can I actually hook it up and sync it up to FL Studio? Now, basically it's the same thing. You would go to Options Audio and you would select ASIO Link. So once you hit ASIO Link, it, it should pop up. It'll pop up this right here. Let me just bring it up for you guys so you can see. Booyah! You bring up another one inside of FL Studio. Now, in order to hear your voice, because it's already synced up to hear your audio. Um, all you have to do is go OBS. You would go to OBS. Where's the other, where's my other OBS set? I gotta open it again. You would go to settings, and you go to audio, and you would select this, and you put it on mix in one because that's your main audio, and that's how you do. You just hit OK and apply, and you would turn. You would disable the desktop audio. So now all the audio is coming in from here. So you have both the ASIO link, your microphone, and coming in at the same time. Now, the reason, if that, now be warm. If you want to, like I said, at the end, kind of mix your stuff afterwards, you're only going to have one track of audio. So that would be a problem if you're doing that. But this is great for live streaming and if you want to do all your um, processes inside of FL Studio. So once you get that set up, that's pretty much it. Now you have your sound. And all that, yeah, your voice. See, same time. So when I talk, you hear it. Talk, 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 talk. Boom. You get you, it means it's picking up. Now, in order to do like I, how I got right now, how I have my voice coming in with all these effects, all you would do is pick an empty mixer channel. Doesn't matter which one. You can do whichever one you want. You would click it. So I'll just click this one. I will go right here and I'll pick my microphone because my microphone is inserted in my interface into insert one. So once I hit that, Boom, my microphone picks up. Now, it'll bring up this right here. As you can see, and I've turned it up, you see I have no effects on my voice. Blah, 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 blah. But now we have it like this. It'll bring up this. Now, all you want to do is you want to unlink everything. The main thing is unlink everything, and you only want to connect these two right here. It'll be the ASIO host in the mix and the ASIO driver in. You just boom, 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 connect those two, and now your microphone is working in the FL Studio. And now you guys can hear me. I can add effects to my voice. I got a gate on there. I got some compression, EQ, and I have my robot voice. And I can add reverb. Yeah. I can add auto tune. So if I go right here to uh, picture, and then I go to here and do this. And do like that. Hey, it's your boy Slim. Boom. You can do all the effects you want, you know. And you're also using your ASIO drive. You actually use your 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 um interface ASIO drive as well. Cause like I say it's bypassing the thing. Cause one thing about ASIO is that you can only only one application can use it at a time. So this way you're actually it's actually linking all the uh all the windows or all the programs, meaning OBS. It's linking up OBS. As you can see, there it is right there. It's linking up OBS, FL Studio, and whatever else I want, desktop audio, um, 
YouTube, Skype, whatever, is linking all that to one, using, running through one ASIO, so that way you can use everything at once. And like I said, you can even be on Skype, you can have this set up right here, open your Skype up and actually have it set up where you can be fuck, you can be messing with people over Skype and, you know, all tune your voice and all that during Skype and doing crazy stuff during Skype I, I, and have effects going on your voice when you're Skype calling people and so that if you're doing like an interview or something like that and you want to sound as professional as possible like I do. Sorry, I'm just not professional, but yeah. Um, it's a very simple process, very easy. Just remember, there's two ways to do it. The free way, the best way to do it, like I said, you're starting out, just get OBS, um, set it up, set your microphone up, all that. And like I said, just go to your audio settings and put on FL Studio ASIO. That will be easy peasy, no, no money, no nothing. It's free, just be warned. You will have some latency and it's gonna be a pain. Like I said, if you got like if you don't have a really good computer, it's gonna be crackling, popping, and stuttering and glitching out because you know you don't have a good computer. But if you got a great computer, you'll be fine, you know. But this way, like I said, spend about thirty bucks, boom, shakalaka, and you have this cool setup right here, which you have no latency and you can do all the things you want. Now, like I said, if you want me to go into a more detailed on video showing you my actual recording settings, like how I got it set up for recordings to get this crisp, clean 60 frames per second on video. I would be happy to show you guys how to set it up, you know, in detail. Like I said, this is more of an overview on how I record because you guys may ask me, Slim, how do you record your stuff? We want to know. So this is how I record and hopefully you can take this. And like I said, if you got any questions, um, feel free to leave me a comment, like this video, share it, you know, help people out. And I hope this helped get all of you guys out and help you understand that, you know, you don't have to spend money to do this stuff. You know, it's absolutely free, but if you want to spend money, you only get better results in the end. So hopefully that guys help you out. I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, I'm sorry it's a late video, but you know, I've got a lot of stuff going on. I'm trying to do a lot of work. So, you know, you got to just bear with me, people. I'm doing the best I can. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. Like always, it's your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different. Not motivated by money, but the like, comment, subscribe, and views. And if you want the hottest sound on the internet, please check out tbosounds.com and get your sounds today. We have both free and paid stuff. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it. And guess what? I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.